Hey guys, welcome back to another trip to the thrift. This is a midweek car boot uh, where I take you along and find some cool bits of clothing. Uh, so yeah, like the video, subscribe if you're new here, follow my Instagram and my Depop down at the bottom of the screen, Ryan's Finds, I find S, F find S. Also follow the wholesale Instagram down there at the bottom of the screen, Messina Henry Wholesale. And yeah, we'll just get into the clips. Um, I think I've got clips of me finding all of this stuff. And then we'll come back here, go for it all, and that'll do us. So yeah, like the video, subscribe, and enjoy the clips. How much you got on a t-shirt? Pardon? How much you got on a t-shirt? What one? Uh, yeah, these two. Oh, oh, sure. Have you got any more, like, any more bits like this? Uh, any men's clothing? Shoes. Men's, would you say? Yeah, men's clothing. Um, like what else have we got? We've got that Puma jacket. Yeah. That's his old one there. And these, these are kind of shoes, but then they're all ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that one. Have a look at that one. Yeah. All right. That one's, um, that's actually, um, got a thing on it there, Oh, look at the Harley bits. Um, look, look, those bits there. Harley. The T's. The oh, T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, I was going up computer games. Yeah. It's alright. Yeah. I was just <coughs> got a bit rough about these are all um, all to do with motor racing or. Uh, have you got any more? Have you? Formula One. Yeah, the bag of them somewhere. Yeah. Oh, two oh, trunks. Uh, five or each on them. Have a look at all of them. Yeah. Some are um, just tall ones. Yeah, have a look. So I've put them on the floor. I've got, yeah, put them on the floor. I'm going to put them all out. Have you got a price on them? Uh, about three quid each, something like that. Okay, cool. I've got it. Some of them
Right, we're back. We're gonna start with this accessory and then just work our way through the lot. First, this is a bit of a rogue one. I've never seen anything like it. It's a CP company. Um, I think it's like for your files. I don't think it's a wash bag, uh, but I've never seen anything like this. Uh, but after having a look online, it looks like some sort of Asian release, uh, but it's CP company ideas from Massimo Osti. Uh, it's got like a zip pocket there. And then it's got another pocket there. The leather's a little bit sticky, so it's sort of borderline about to die, but then I should be able to fix it up. It's got like the red interior of it. And I did pay up on it, uh, but I just thought, yeah, it's something that I haven't seen. Um, and I'll probably just tuck it away somewhere. Uh, but I ended up paying 30 pound for that. That's probably like retail. I don't think you'll get too much for it, uh, just cause it's very random, not the most useful of items. Now getting to the clothing items, I paid 50 pound for all these tees and the leather that I'll show you at the end. Start with these tees. First, we've got two, they're just like racing ones. They're fairly new. I think just on Fruit of Looms. Um, but I just, yeah, I, I think it was my first buy of the day. So I was sort of, yeah, I'll better grab a few extra things. I figured they got cool graphics on them. Take them to a pop-up, maybe get like 10 to 15 pounds. Same with this one, just a cool graphic. That on the back as well. Uh, I don't know if they're dated. They're not dated, but you can see, you can tell from the Fruit of the Loom tag that they are new ones. Then we got a couple of racing polos. These are Honda ones, all the sponsors on the arms and all that. Uh, again, in the same bundle. Then there's this Yamaha official racing one. This one's actually quite cool. It's got some good sponsors. That on the back as well. Swan, Monster. Uh, I'm not too sure what they go for. Maybe like 15, maybe 18 you can push. In that bundle, I also got a couple of Harley tees. This one is a 1998. Um, main USA one, really cool pocket tee. I like it when I've got it on the pocket. Uh, from Orlando, Florida. Yeah, it's a size medium, which is a bit of a shame. I would have kept it if it was like an XL, a bit bigger. I should hopefully get around 25, maybe 30 on it. It's just a nice graphic, nice and simple. Um, nothing really wrong with it. This is the other Harley tee that I got in the bundle. Unfortunately, it's not dated, but I'm fairly sure it's like a late 90s one again. The date's unfortunately rubbed out. Uh, it's made in USA, that graphic. I've seen that on another t-shirt as well. And then it's got that on the back, which is really cool. Black Bear, New Market, England, which is like a fairly local, it's probably one of the most local um, Harley dealerships that we've got in East Anglia. I think there's one in Norwich, maybe Colchester or Chelmsford. Um, there's definitely not any in Ipswich, that's for sure. Yeah, that's the last t-shirt for that bundle. And then I'll show you the leather at the end, uh, but I'm probably just gonna keep this one because it's like a, a local bit of vintage. Um, and I've got like a pile of clothes over there, which I sort of just keep anything which is local to East Anglia or Ipswich, uh, which is vintage. So yeah, I'm just gonna tuck that one away. Next, we've got a couple of tees that again, I got in a bundle. We've got this Red socks from 2007 t-shirt. I think unfortunately the seller's dad passed away and they were just selling all these old clothes uh, and I had a rummage in one of the bags and found this. Uh, it's brand new with the tags, which is quite cool. Printed on tag, it's an XL, but it just fits like a dress. Um, but that should be sort of an easy 15 to maybe 20, 25 you could push just because newer tags. It's not super old, but it's just a nice early 2000s um, American sports sort of t-shirt. With that Red Sox tee, I got this USA Olympics t-shirt. Unfortunately, the tags um, come out, or it's been like unstitched. Uh, but I think it's like, again, early 2000s, I'm guessing. But we've got the American flag there, which says, I think it says USA. It says Team USA. And it's just got the USA with the Olympic rings there. Not dated, but I think it's from the same era as the Red Sox t-shirt. Next, we've got another two t-shirts that I've got in a bundle. Uh, I think I paid like a pound or two pound each. This first one, sort of like a festival, maybe you could say it's a rave one. Meet you by the dance tent. It is on a shot dead in the head tag and it's made in England, uh, which is pretty cool. When I was buying these t-shirts, she said she was putting this in the car and her next door neighbor was painting his house wearing the exact same t-shirt. And he said he got it in the nineties um, at a festival, I think. I'm probably just gonna tuck that one away because it's sick. And then with that t-shirt, I found this Looney Tunes one, uh, which I think is dated to 1996. Um, I did think it was a reprint at first, uh, but it seems fairly old. Uh, the only thing wrong with it is, I think the armpit is sort of shot out a little bit, uh, but hopefully I'm gonna keep it myself if it fits me, uh, but it's a nice baggy size. And that was a couple of quid as well. I'm not too sure what it'll go for. Maybe like 25 to like 40-ish you could get if it's in good condition, uh, but it's nicely sort of worn on the, graphics and yeah that's just gonna be kept for myself probably then we've got the last of the t-shirts a nice ysl brand new tags it's got the debenhams tag on it a lot of people don't know that ysl was sold in like debenhams and uh, sports direct in the early 2000s it's just got that small printed on logo on the chest that should be an easy sort of 15 pound i think at pop-up maybe a little bit more uh, just because it's brand new it just needs a good 
um, steaming. Then we've got the final item of the day, just a really cool full leather Harley Davidson zip up jacket. Obviously got that big spell out on the front, we've got a couple of patches on each arm there, and then a Harley Davidson patch on the back. Uh, but you wanted 40 pound for this and then like three pound for each of these tees. Uh, so it came out to like 58 pound. And then I offered him 50 pound on the lot and he was happy with that. I have had a look on Depop and I found, I don't think it's the exact one, but it's like a very similar one. And that was up for like 180. Uh, but I think you should get around like 120 to like 150 for this one. The thing with leather jackets, I think you have to sit on them for quite a bit because uh, it has to go to the right person because it's quite a statement piece. And they're always very expensive, but I'll probably just save this one for a pop-up and just like try and get 100 on it. Maybe like 110. But yeah, there's that jacket there. Really cool. Nice size as well. Nice XL. That is it for everything I found today. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. Follow my Instagram and my Depop down at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's Finds, I-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. Follow the Wholesale Instagram, Messina Henry Wholesale, again down at the bottom of the screen. And I think that's it. I'll probably just show you guys my t-shirt because I really like it. It's the first time I've worn it. Um, American Embassy, Madrid. How American is that? A ball with a shotgun on it, I think. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. And I should hopefully see you in the next video. Yeah, peace.